talking with you, and you, you, you need to be prepared. Well, there's one book that I can recommend that has just changed my life, and it is, it, there are so many more aspects now uh, in, my, uh, in my quiver that I can use against the enemy, and I just uh, I can't recommend this book enough. It's The Magic Man in the Sky. Go to Carl Gallup's, that's G-A-L-L-U-P-S dot com, and find out how to get it. And my guest is Pastor Carl Gallup's. Welcome back. Oh, thank you, Mike. Uh, you know what, Mike, I've got to say, you're, you're such a gracious host. It, it was obvious from the beginning that you had at least familiarized yourself with my book, and, and mm -hmm. obviously you've read it, and, uh, and you can speak intelligently about it, and what you just said about it changing your life. I, I got chill bumps when you said that because so many people who have read it, those are the words they're using. Mm. And it's just blowing me away. I mean, God really has his hand on this book, Mike. And, yeah. Well, you're probably, I, you, know, you, you know, you're so close to it, you may not be able to see, you know, I, it. you know <laughs> all that it's doing. But, you know, it, um, it is so important for us to be prepared, and it's not that difficult. This book is really laid out uh, that you can just go to it, you know, each day, read a chapter, and, you know, and it, it gives you information that where the lights go on, and yeah. then you can pretty soon, you don't even have to practice. You walk, Somebody walks up, and you find yourself saying things that you've read, uh, Thank you. and you can do it right. You can do it in a short time. Of course, you want to continue to get better at it, but yeah. it's all about truth, and truth does win out. You know, or it's, it's, it would be great, I think, for churches. This would be a tremendous uh, study guide to go through chapter by chapter for all different age audiences in churches uh, to strengthen their faith. Can you imagine a, a, a Bible class who spends maybe, it's, you know, 15 weeks, uh, one chapter at a time, discussing, uh, you know, having role play, feedback, and then they leave that church and they know what to say. Wouldn't that be outstanding? Oh, it would. As a matter of fact, my publisher's WND Books. They are already talking with me about the possibility of me writing a study guide for it. Oh, that'd be awesome. For that very reason. Yeah. But listen, uh, it, the, uh, the superintendent of schools in the area where I live, I took it to him. He read it. He said, Carl, I have taken this book to my church. I'm teaching it in my Sunday school class. I'm taking it to men's Bible studies. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this everywhere. People have to study this book. And, and, and then a prominent businessman in Mobile, Alabama, about an uh, hour and a half from me, um, he called me the other day and said, Carl, I read the book. It overwhelmed me. He said, I've got a brother-in-law that's an atheist. I'm, I've, I've called him and told him about it. He promised me he would read it. I'm sending it to him. I've got a cousin that's an atheist. I told him about it. He promised me he would read it. I'm, I've ordered a copy. I'm sending it to him. So people are using it not only for study, but also for witnessing. Yeah, you know, you know something, uh, Pastor, it would be great to if you have a doctor's appointment when you're sitting, when they keep you waiting for an hour and a half. You know, all, yeah. of course, all the other stuff there was touched by sick people. You may not want to read that. But, but, but you know, you could, you could just leave this book behind. Just leave, let people start reading it. You know, they'll grab it and pick out a chapter that God wants them to read. You could, absolutely. I mean, God has really anointed this book, Mike. I've, as you said, I'm too close to it. I, I... Oh.